ladies and gentlemen. I've just checked into my hotel in London, Waterloo. I'll be heading to the Science Museum in a bit. And I'll be sharing my experience of the Science Museum with you guys. But quick room tour of the Ruby Lucy. I love the little theming on the wall. That's probably nice. It's pretty small room, but you know what? For one night, it's nice. It's suitable for me, one adult. I've got a whole double bed to myself. So for one adult, it's great. A nice view of the streets down below. Waterloo's just round the corner from here. You've got the Fire Station pub, which I recommend. It's a really nice pub in Waterloo. So if you want to go out on, um, get a nice meal, then I definitely recommend the Fire Station pub and bar. But yeah, here's a quick room tour of my room. It's a bit different to other hotels that I've stayed at. It's unusual but it's always good to try different hotels out you know because I'm doing most of the attractions in London I thought I'd stay one night here and so far it's a nice hotel it's nice You've got a storage closet here it's make the most of your room look at that that's where I like that it's really quirky it's quite close to the London I see life so Everything's within walking distance. In terms of social distance, you just as you arrive, no temperature checks, but you are required to wear a mask in the bar area. Here's my ensuite private shower. Got a nice TV to myself. So yeah, I'm happy overall. This room for one night costs 66 pound. And I've got a part discount, 10% discount. I've got a room upgrade or queen room. So this is the queen room at the Lucy Hotel in Waterloo. The attractions, the London Eye, the Science Museum. But yeah, here's a quick tour of my room. This is the queen room. You can book this room on booking.com or any other travel hotel websites. It's it's ideal for one night i guess it's ideal because waterloo is so close and you can practically walk to the london eye from here it doesn't take too long but yeah so i'm going to wrap up this first bit of the vlog and i'll be back with you guys for the science <laughs> Right guys, I've just arrived at the Science Museum in London. I'm looking forward to sharing my experience with you. As you know, at the start of the year, I did the National History Museum. But today I'm back with the Science Museum. You just book your time slot online. Really easy to do. And you have to attend that time slot. Masks are required throughout your visit of the museum. Apart from when you're sitting down. So have a cup of coffee or a drink. I'm going to show you guys around the whole museum. Probably stay here about an hour. Then I have it, head back to my hotel. I love all the history behind it. Over 400 years ago. It 
the other three moons are called Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto. This view of Io is a combination of images taken by two different spacecraft that explored Jupiter and its moons, Voyager in the 1970s and Galileo in the 1990s. This planet looks like Great to hear up on on the history of Jupiter planets and all stuff like that. I love all the theming and this museum and the little miniature mod models. They've done a really amazing job on it. Everything, every detail, and the little models is incredible. I'm gonna be slowly making my way around the museum. I'm gonna be pause like stopping so you guys can read the little history behind it all it's really good it's really clever how they've done it all in here i'm really enjoying the experience so far so yeah, it's a good good stay here all day even it's really good I'm enjoying the visit so far great history and facts behind it all general dornberger gives the all clear switches are thrown to start the v2's rocket engine it builds up crust, and the missile takes off. Five minutes after launch, it plunges into the Baltic, 190 kilometers down the coast from Pinamunda. At the third attempt, German scientists and engineers have successfully launched the world's first long-range guided missile. So I'm just making my way up the stairs now to the flight section. I know I've not talked much so far in the video, but I'm just taking in the moment and just generally enjoying it all rather than chatting about it all. You know, I just want to capture the footage for you guys. Look at the, his, the models are really good. The little model of the ship, all the old ships and stuff like that it's really good they loving the details every detail on the models is really nice but yeah if i don't talk in some parts of the video i'm just basically taking in the moment and reading up on all the history behind everything so this video is not all about me just you know rambling on you know i'm sure you don't want to listen to me just constantly talking so there's going to be parts of the video where I'm going to be quiet so I love the little miniatures model of the 
steam train there. The horse is really good. I'm loving this museum so far. It's definitely different from the National History Museum. Loving all this science behind it. The detail on the little models is incredible. And I'm just going to carry on filming here and stop rifling on. So enjoy it guys. Right guys, so we've come to the vintage section of the Hist Science Museum. I'm loving the details of all the classic old cars, the old planes. This museum is awesome. It's a different experience. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. As I say, the admission is free. The virtual reality, you have to buy a ticket, but that's closed obviously because of the pandemic and social distance rules but yeah this is you know free admission and you can stay up until it closes at five o'clock so it's definitely worth checking out if you've done the national history museum i definitely recommend checking out the science museum it's brilliant there's like three floors for you to go and explore and a nice cafe where you can have a good half hour's rest have a bite to eat there's loads of restaurants on the way up to the Science Museum but every detail is amazing look at the detail on these cars, old vintage cars, classics brilliant it's definitely worth bringing the kids along if you're bored and you want to do something in London that doesn't cost nothing then the Science Museum is definitely worth checking out as I say you do need to book a time slot though even though the ticket's free, you still need to book that time slot because obviously social distance rules and masks are required for out your uh, visit at the Science Museum. Everything's brilliant in here, everything. Just look at the details, it's just so much gone into it. But yeah, enough of me rambling on. I'm going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of my tour of these sites we've seen.
side, the technology is ready, there are companies that are eager to do this. We are already seeing them in other countries, there's already drones doing things like transporting medical supplies and samples. They're being used in Reykjavik to transport takeaways. I think we'll start to see these cases start to happen in cities in the UK pretty soon. When we talk about self-driving vehicles, there are not a lot of autonomy in drones at the moment that people can access. That's still in laboratories and developments by the military. But we will see them soon. It's happening. And it won't be long till we get ones that can be autonomous on their own. And people will love those because you don't have to watch the drone all the time. We need to have automation in order to enable drones to operate at scale. The true benefits to society will come from drones that can operate as a network and that don't need to have uh, an individual pilot managing each drone flight. And I have problems. So I'm back in this section of space section, a little mini game here, which one is the happy face? Uh, it's got to be this guy right here, correct, <laughs> little fun mini game there, you know, collected happiness, we've got all the facts for you here as well, pause, if you guys want to pause the videos, read up on it. Butterflies in the feathers is really cool. And go more information for you guys if you want to pause the video. 100 billion brain cells. So I love all the science behind it, it's really awesome. Why that makes global temperatures rise? It's 2M. Fly flight zone space to Cynthia Wonderland.
Guys, on the second floor, 2M now, I believe, in the fly zone, or the third floor. It's either the 2M floor or the third floor. Uh, I'm not sure if you're allowed to go up there. I'm not going to walk up there. Um, I'm sure it's a different attraction. I'm not sure if it's open or not, but we're in now the fly zone, so I'm going to do some recording of the vintage planes got at least three floors to explore and you can take as long as you like this is where the virtual reality is I believe um, I'm not sure it's open today unfortunately I don't know why I think it's because of social distance rules which is a shame it would have been cool if we were able to have a little go on the virtual reality it's not free though you do need to pay if it was open but would have been nice if it if you could experience it so it's a shame that it's shut and you know virtual reality would have been a pretty cool ride to try out but we're in the space section at the moment and slowly making my way around to the old vintage section of the planes and stuff there's a little cafe there if you want to stop off get a quick bite to eat but there are some nice cafes outside as well if you've didn't fancy paying out in the museum itself but yeah I'm enjoying my visit to the science museum as I say it's different to the other museum I visited I'm loving all this science behind it it's really awesome I love all the models and stuff all the vintage models that they've built it's really good look at the detail on the plane Every detail in the museum is brilliant and for a free attraction, what more could you ask for? It's absolutely awesome. It's different to doing the same old attractions, London Eye and stuff like that. Just come and see these other attractions. They're really good. Free museums. If you're looking for stuff to do in London, I definitely recommend this museum on your to-do list. It gives you something to do instead of just doing the same things in London all the time. If you're looking for other things to do, I definitely recommend checking out the museums and and mine all the great history and facts behind it all. guys I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here and make my way out of the science museum it was absolutely awesome I fully enjoyed the tour I enjoyed it more than the National History Museum although they're equally both as good it was a great experience so as I said at the start of the video it is a book ticket online and you've got a variety of times so you can book your time slot but it's all free so it's an amazing experience And that is it guys, here is the Science Museum, absolutely brilliant, absolutely awesome museum, I really enjoyed my tour around of it, it's different as I say from the National History Museum, 
So in terms of getting to the science museum, it's really easy. Straight from Kenton, South Kenton tube station. As you come out, I'll show you in a minute. There's sign postages that clearly shows you how to get to the museums. It's quite easy. There's sign postages on the floor. There's a history museum that I did at the start of the year. I might go back there at some point. That is a booked uh, time slot as well. But as you can see, the green markers on the floor. Just keep following the green markers as you come out of South Kenston Station. You can't miss it. And if you're looking to go to what, if you want to combine both museums, then by all means, they are booked time slot events only. And you do need to bring your masks and wear your masks, apart from when you're sitting down in a cafe to eat. But yeah, normally you'll be able to come out here at the underground, but for some reason they've shut it off today, and I don't know why, but this will be a quick exit to come out of the underground. But unfortunately it's closed, I don't know why. But yeah, as you come out here at the underground, just follow the little green circle sign postage and that will take you straight to the science. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.